Well, on the left-hand side, I need the identity for cosine of a plus b. So let's see, cosine of a plus b. Well, cosine takes cosine of each angle first of all. And then it takes sine of each angle. And when this is sine, it keeps this sine the same. But cosine does the opposite. Okay, so there's the formula that we're going to use for the numerator. So we've got the left hand side is equal to so I'm just going to recopy the denominator now, sine of a times cosine of b, and then use this formula for the numerator. So we'd have cosine of a and cosine of b minus sine of a and sine of b. And then this has been separated into two different things with subtraction in between. So I can do the same thing here. Usually when we've got fractions, we take two fractions and put them together as one fraction with a common denominator. Well, you can do the opposite. You can take one fraction, break it up into two fractions, as long as the two fractions have the common denominator. And then just transfer the numerators over here. So we've got cosine a and cosine b, the subtraction sign in between, and then sine of a sine of b. And then let's see how this can be reduced. Well, in here, a cosine can be canceled, cosine of b can be canceled. And for this fraction, a sine of a can be canceled. And what we're left with is cosine over sine. Well, I remember that sine over cosine is tangent. And this one is inverted, so when you invert tangent, you get cotangent. So it's cotangent of A, since the B is canceled. And over here, tangent of B. Perfect.